Hi, this is Rachel Ray, and I'm here to tell you about some of the great Italian cooking I do. Today, we're going to make horse hoof soup, because you know in Italy, we raise horses to eat. Oh, some horses we raise to ride, but then we have a lot, we just raise them to eat them. That's their destiny, and folks... In America, don't be all upset because, you know, it's no different than eating a Big Mac. All joking aside, no, this is not Rachel Ray. This is a foot that I got off a dead horse. Um, actually, I was videotaping some horse abuse, and uh, this horse was alive the first time I seen him. Horribly skinny, big shoulder wound, laying down, not going to go into all that sad affair that the authorities wouldn't do anything about but needless to say when I went back uh, several months later he was dead and uh, anyway I just picked up some of his feet um, and uh, I've been wondering what to do with it because I'm studying hoof care natural trimming and uh, th so this is a cadaver foot but it's an old cadaver foot that I want to dissect and take apart so I can have the bones and the hoof capsule and stuff like that. So um, the only thing I really think of to do to make it soft and pliable is to uh, put in some water and kind of boil it up a little bit and see what happens. And by the way, what I said about uh, raises hor raising horses in Italy to eat is true. Found that site um, uh, on a college website uh, where they were going over and doing studies on quote cultural diversity. Um, so I'll have that listed on here too for all you horse lovers that that want to know how they're they're trying to just change our minds in America and get us to eat horse meat. So anyway, we're gonna let this foot boil and do some things and and we're gonna see if it'll come apart see if the hoof caps will come apart well here's our we were in Italy we'd be boiling this to make some stew or other places in Europe that's not what we're doing because we happen to love horses here the whole purpose of this is to research feet and understand more about bones and how the foot is put together to be able to okay well here's our foot that we boiled and then I sawed it and, and I took off I took off some of the toe there and I I uh, sawed off the other half and you see see you can see where I cut it off you see that that little reddish yellow mark there that's the white line okay now this horse here uh, was never had his feet touched in his whole life, and he probably died about 17, 18 years old. Okay, what I want you to see here is the cotton bone. Okay, now if you notice, let's see, see this little kind of, here's the hoof wall right here, outer hoof wall, and then the inner hoof wall. You see that layer next to there? That's the lamina, or the white line. Now, this horse's feet were probably this much longer, where I got my thumb here, than uh, they are now. And uh, what you see going on here is that because he never got trimmed, <coughs> he developed a little bit of a laminar wedge, which that, that means that this hoof wall flared out like that. And then to make up for it, the lamina multiplied in here okay making a wedge in there you see how that's wedge shaped that piece right there right there going along there here's the coffin bone here's the wedge right here to fill up the gap to protect the hoof okay now another interesting thing you see that that coffin bone that's pretty cool now another interesting thing is here's the tip of the frog, what you would call the apex of the frog, right there, right there. Here's the frog. Of course, this tip, this hoof is pretty dried out and shriveled up, but still, here's the tip of the frog. So if you want to know where your coffin bone is in your horse, 
okay, and toe relation to calf and bone. You go to the apex of that frog. Okay, you go to the apex of the frog, which is right here. You want to trim it down a little bit. And then you see my thumb. I'm a girl. And this was about a medium-sized horse. So the tip of that coffin bone is in front of the apex of the frog, about a thumb's width, right there. See that? Okay, let's see. See that? About a thumb's width. Okay. Now, you see how, uh, you see now why you have to do a Mustang roll on the edges of these toes and stuff and keep that, that, uh, hoof wall, okay, and, and, you know, the bottom down here rolled. I haven't got this rolled. It's just cut sharp edge, okay, but, uh, <clears throat> that keeps, the pressure off of this hoof wall see when it gets long it comes out here and it pulls it out and it pulls it away from that uh, coffin bone right there okay so you know I mean this this hoof is all shriveled up no telling uh, how wide this really was right here maybe not too much wider than it is really because uh, really the uh, white lines about white line which is always yellow by the way okay they call it the white line but it is always yellow that thing is always yellow sometimes nope oh, gotta scratch my nose sometimes people mistake the inner part of the hoof wall which gets real white once you get in here once you get in here in this old hoof it's not but once you get through from the outside to the inside it get it can get real white here and they mistake that it's called the inner hoof wall or the water line from, uh, they mistake that for uh, the white line because it's so white. Because the white line, which is the lamina, is really yellow. <laughs> so, you know, who knows what the heck went on there and why they named that the white line. But it's lamina, you know, it's like yellow glue that glues this hoof wall, okay, onto here. Okay, so uh, anyway. There you have it. That's pretty interesting. And again, there's the frog, the tip of the frog called the apex right in here. And the coffin bone is right about there. But a lot of times these frogs can be stretched way far forward when uh, they have, it, when a horse has been allowed to grow long heels and long toes. And uh, what I have here, well, there's Valor, there's Molly. Mother and son, he's never had shoes on. She had shoes on her whole life. And she developed what's called long toe, long heel syndrome. Now her feet are getting better. I've been working on them for about a year. But what you're gonna see here. Oh, horse farting on the video. Okay, oh, probably flies getting on his bottom there. Okay, what you're gonna see here Now her feet used to be a lot longer than that, and they're in sore need of a trim now, but I wanted to let them go for a little while while I was trying to figure out exactly what to do. Here, pick up your foot, Molly, so the people can see it. Okay, here's Molly's foot, and you see, it's, 